Last video, we figured out how to use the PMT function to figure out the monthly payment on a, on a home mortgage of $120,000 principal, 5.75% annual rate over 30 years. Pretty cool. But there are other loan functions. Let me fill this information to the right, and we'll do some different things. We'll use the other functions. Suppose you have your principal, you've got $120,000, but you want to get a different rate. Suppose you look at $700 for a payment and you say, oh my goodness, that's too high. I can't afford that. I can only afford, well, I, I could do $640 a month. And we make that negative because that's negative cash flow. $640 a month. Well, if I've got $640 a month, what annual rate would I have to get to find that amount? Well, we can do that. We use the rate function. What rate over 360 payment periods at a payment of $640 on principal of $120,000 and of course future value of what rate would give me that payment? 0.41% but notice that's the rate per period so to find the annual rate well we just multiply we take that rate times 12 periods and look at that I can use the rate function to start with a given payment and figure out what the annual rate would be that I have to look for or that I have to wait for the market to give me. So if I went to the bank and I said I need a $120,000 loan and their rate was 5.75 and I got negative you know, $700 payment, I'm like, ouch, I want to bring that down. If 640 is what my income can support, well, I've got to wait for rates to get down to 4.94% before I can really afford this loan. Or I've got to bring down my principal which is something else we could do. Suppose we keep that rate. Let's put in this 4.94%, or well, actually, let's go back. Let's say I don't want to do that. 5.75%, that's the best rate I can get. And to be honest, I just can't wait for that. Or I can't wait for it to go down. I've got to take the rate as is. If this is the payment I can afford, well, how much principal can I get at that rate? I can do the same thing. I can put the PV value in there, or function, and then take my rate per period, number of periods, the payment I want to be able to make, and the future value. And now, this PV function will tell me I could afford a loan of almost 110000 So what does this tell me? Well, by finding using PV to find the principal value that I could afford at that particular payment rate, this function now tells me that, okay, instead of getting 120000 for a loan, I need to find a way, if I could come up with another 10000 right now for my down payment, then I could afford this loan, and my monthly payments would only be 640 a month. That's the kind of projection I can do with all of these formulas, the PV and with the rate function that we used down here earlier. You can also do the number of periods. Suppose I decide that, well, okay, 120000 is the amount I want to get, and I can go for 575 and you know what? I could even do payments of 700 I could afford that. Or as a matter of fact, it looks like I just got a new job. I could afford mortgage payments of $800 a month. Better make that negative. Look at that. Mortgage payments of 800 a month. I can go that high. So can I afford to maybe change the period of the payments of the mortgage? Maybe instead of a 30-year mortgage, I could do a 25. Can I? Well, let's find out. Instead of this formula, take that out of there, I'm going to do NPER, number of periods. How many periods would it take at this rate and at this $800 payment level on this principle to pay off that loan? Okay, See what I'm doing there? I'm finding the number of periods it would take to pay off a $120,000 loan at 5.75% interest, making $800 payments each month. Let's find out. Hmm, 265 periods. To find out the years, I simply take that value divided by 12. Oh, okay. I find out that. Well, that's a really silly big number. I find out that I could structure a mortgage for 22 years do payments of $800, and I could pay that mortgage off instead of doing a 30-year mortgage for $700 a month. Okay? That can be useful financial information to know. So there you go. We see examples here again of how you can use not just payment, but you can use P 
PV to figure out the principal you can afford, you can use rate to figure out the percentage rate you could try to negotiate for, and you can use NPER to figure out how long of a term you need on the loan, maybe the minimal term you need to get out of debt and have this house paid off. Enjoy those financial functions.